guys welcome back to my channel it is me sierra bazell also known as sierra the baby doula and i'm so happy that you guys were able to join me today please be sure to like subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so that you can get updates on when i post videos welcome back today i want to talk to you guys about um, some of these things that are going on with COVID-19. Um, one of the big things that people are talking about is these underlying conditions. And we know that a lot of people have some of these underlying conditions. These are things like diabetes, high blood pressure, um, autoimmune diseases, and all sorts of things that are causing people's bodies to be more susceptible to not only catching this virus, but to have a hard time kind of dealing with this thing. So let's talk about these things. Now, coronavirus has swept through the entire world pretty much um, as we know it, and things will probably never be the same. We have seen people lose their jobs, we've seen people lose their lives, and this is something that is happening not only in the United States, but it's happening everywhere. Now, underlying conditions put you at risk for catching and dealing with a lot of different diseases, which is one of the reasons why our doctors are always telling us that we need to keep our bodies healthy, that we need to exercise and eat right and do all of these things. But I get a lot of people that I talk to all the time that are in their 40s and 50s, sometimes even in their 20s and 30s, who don't eat vegetables, or they don't eat fruit, or they don't drink water. And I'm wondering, number one, how are you guys still alive? <laughs> because how do you function without eating vegetables? But number two, I wanna know how is your body able to function properly? Our soil is already depleted, so we're not getting in as much nutrients as we need to anyway. But then when you don't eat fruits and vegetables and you don't drink water and you're not sleeping and you're not exercising and you're not getting those things that your body needs to operate at an optimal level, your body can't withstand things. This is why when people get, um, into cold and flu season they're they're getting sick often or you have some people that you know like i have some relatives personally that i know that it seems like they have a cold every other week and it's because their immune systems are not able to fight things properly yes you might sometimes get colds i had one cold last year um and it was crazy because i haven't had a cold in probably about three or four years but my son who is three he came up to me, he sneezed right in my face, and I couldn't avoid it. Now, because my immune system is strong, I don't get colds often. When I do, my immune system is able to fight them, and I usually don't end up being as sick as most people. My children, they caught a cold. They weren't as sick as most other people were from whatever it was that they had. And it's because of the way that they eat and the way that I take care of their bodies and the way that I teach them to take care of their bodies as well. So I want to talk to you about why it's important for you to make sure that you're not only eating your fruits and vegetables, but that you're making sure that your body is absorbing, absorbing, excuse me, these nutrients. Now, here is a book that I am currently reading, I hope you can see it, it's called The Gerson Therapy. Now this particular um, book is about this doctor, it's by a doctor who has helped people to be able to heal from things like cancer, um, autoimmune diseases, all sorts of things. And he talks about the importance of eating lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet, in fact, this person suggests that if you're dealing with um, any type of autoimmune problems or you're dealing with something like cancer, that you remove meat, meat completely from your diet and that you focus on juicing and eating lots of fruits and vegetables. Now, I'm not going to tell you that you can't eat meat because I eat meat. Um, but what I do make sure that I'm doing is to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables as well. I 
try to juice. I try to make sure that I have smoothies. And if I'm not doing that every day, then I will at least make sure that I eat some type of vegetable with every meal. And I don't always eat fruit because sometimes fruit isn't in season. Like right now, um, we're just entering into strawberry season. But in winter, we don't really have any fruits that we can eat. Fall is apple season. After apple season is over, everything that you're getting is coming from another country or it's coming from somewhere else. So your body really isn't getting as much nutri nutrients as it needs because you're getting something that came on a truck and traveled for two weeks. And then when it finally gets into your body, eh, you're not getting as much as that of those nutrients as you need. So one thing that I like to suggest is that people try to eat local. Eat local foods, support your local farmers, um, go to your farmer's markets, buy fresh fruits and vegetables. If you can't do that, try to at least get frozen because as we know, the canned fruits and vegetables are not that great. Make sure that you're eating some type of vegetable with every meal that you're eating. I like to try to have my plate, think about a circle, then you have one fourth of your plate is meat and that meat should be the size of this part of your hand, see, right here, right there. Um, and then the other fourth should be something like brown rice, quinoa, if you like it, I don't, but if you like quinoa, feel free. Um, and then the other half of your plate should be vegetables. It can be two different types of vegetables, or one vegetable if that's what you want to do. I like to try to do two different types and rotate vegetables so that my body gets lots of different nutrients in it. But just make sure you're getting those fruits and vegetables in, okay? If you're allergic to fruits and vegetables, uh, like there are lots of people that are allergic to things like strawberries or um, pineapples and things like that, find something that you can eat. And if you have a lot of allergies, that probably means that your gut health isn't that great. And you might want to try working on that so that you can absorb some kind of nutrients. Um, but make sure that you're eating your fruits and vegetables, that you're drinking a lot of water, and that when you're eating your fruits and vegetables, um, especially your vegetables, I'm from the country. I know a lot of people like to add meat and a bunch of um, pork juice and all that stuff to their vegetables. I don't eat pork anymore, um, and I don't use smoked meat to season my vegetables anymore, um, just because it's not, it's not great for you. You can stir fry things. You can use um, broth to kind of give you some type of flavoring. You can play with seasonings, and I don't mean load it down with a bunch of salt either. Um, but you can use things like garlic and onions and all of these things, which are also very healthy for you and can help your body to be a lot healthier. So play around with these things and kind of fall away from a lot of those unhealthy habits. Replace the chips and the cookies and all those things with fruits and vegetables. Eat things that come from the ground um, and make sure that you are getting enough exercise and sleep. Right now, we're mostly on quarantine. Most of us are locked in the house. There are lots of free workouts on YouTube. I love Fitness Blender. That's one of my favorites. Shout out to Fitness Blender. Brittany Babe, I love her. Shout out to Brittany Babe. Um, but you guys, Get some exercise, okay? Walk around your house, do some jumping jacks. Last night, my husband and I, we danced around with our kids for like 30 minutes and we were out of breath because we were trying to dance like we were 17 again and we're not. But <laughs> you guys, do something to move your body, whether it's doing squats or um, doing push-ups. Challenge yourself. Make yourself start off with just 15 minutes a day and then keep going until you can do more. Have meatless days. Maybe you have a meatless Monday where you eat beans and vegetables instead of having meat. Just start doing healthier things so that your body can be healthier and so that you can get rid of things or at least manage things like diabetes and hypertension. I know of people that have gotten rid of their diabetes and hypertension by changing 
their diet. Change your diet, get some exercise, and I promise you, your body will start to, to change for you. And please, for the love of everything great, drink some water. There are people out here, and I used to be one of these people, so I can talk about this. There are people out here that do not drink water. When I was a kid, all the way up until I went to college, I didn't like water. I thought water was nasty, that it didn't have a taste, and I was out here drinking soda and juice all the time. I have not had a soda since uh, my freshman year of college, which was about 15 years ago. So I have not had a soda since then. And I've been drinking water. I was drinking water and juice. Now I really don't even drink juice. I just drink water all the time because it makes me feel better. My body feels great when I'm drinking water. And I know that it's good for my body. It flushes out those toxins that are in your body. And if you have hypertension, one of the reasons why you probably have hypertension is because you are dehydrated. Drink some dang water, y'all. Just get your big, get your big bottle of water um, when you go to the grocery store and keep refilling that big bottle every day. Wash the bottle out, though, so you don't get germs. Um, <laughs> and drink your water so that your body can heal itself your body is made up of mostly water you can't walk around here drinking soda soda doesn't replace water juice doesn't replace water and eating fruits and vegetables while they do have water in them they're not going to give you the amount of water that you need so drink water your body is thirsty drink the water and lastly put down the cookies put down the cakes it's okay to have that stuff every now and then, but you shouldn't be eating that every day. That should not be something that you're touching um, every day, that you're putting in your mouth all the time. You shouldn't have three Twinkies a day. You shouldn't be eating, um, I don't know, what are those things called? Swiss rolls. Do y'all even eat those anymore? I don't know. I don't really eat a lot of junk food anyway, but if I do have a snack, it's like chips and salsa or chips and guacamole. Um, and I really shouldn't be eating corn because my body doesn't like it. So sometimes I have to get the grain-free chips or uh, substitute it for sweet potato chips and eat that with the guacamole because that's how my body is set up. But it's better for you to find something else, some alternative that can help you. Eating guacamole is good for your body, especially the kinds with not a lot of preservatives and stuff in it. You can even make it yourself and it has a lot of healthy fats. Eat some salsa, make some salsa. You get your tomatoes in there, you get your onions, all sorts of things inside your body. Your body will thank you. Eat sweet potato chips instead of eating regular potato chips if you have to have some type of thing. Um, some people like to eat popcorn. You can do that too. Get the kind where you make on the stove, eat it. But please, watch what you're putting into your body. Processed food is not great for you. And when you do things to your body that causes it to not get the nutrients that it needs, then you're going to put yourself at risk for so many other things too. So I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Please comment below if there are any other topics you'd like me to talk about, or maybe you want me to talk about how you can help your body uh, to heal from diabetes or how you can help your body with hypertension. Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.